Right, I'm Gordon Smart, this is Rudy Wex. I'm absolutely thrilled to see Andy Williams. Dobbs is with us. Andy, thanks. You drew the short straw today. Last time we got Jez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on rotation. Next time, it? Jimmy. Oh, no, we'll get to yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for doing this. No, no, thanks for having us, man. We should set the scene, really. It's about 35 degrees in Manchester today, isn't it? It's, yes. It's like tropical weather here. Yes, yeah. It was too much to ask on it for sunshine it'd be Manchester, but uh, yeah, you know, I don't think people are going to be too... There'd be a few maybe of the older generation that pissed off this raining, yeah. but uh, I think most people are going to be up for it. Are oh. you familiar with this surrounding as well? You've played a few gigs here over the years, haven't you? Eaton Park? Never. Have you never done that? Have you never seen Eaton Park? Eaton Park? <laughs> no. No, so I'm, trying, man, thing, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to I think you have, haven't you? Did you know support Oasis in 2010? Yeah, but that was... Um, uh, where was that? That was Etihad. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. It was 16. in Manchester. Yeah. And then we did... Yeah, where else? I can't remember that. I'm pretty sure we have done Heaton Park. First time in Heaton Park? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. a big, big first for you, think. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, I come here, come here with the kids and stuff, have a uh, walk around, but never, uh, yeah, not played, played here, yeah. Is that not a bit odd, like, getting your bearings when there's a stage there and you're thinking about that's where we played Frisbee two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I went to a gig here, actually. A factory did a thing in, um, I don't know what year it would have been, 1991 or something. Uh, did a big thing here with, like, uh, it was playing, I think, New Order might have been playing. Um, Electronic, yeah, Bernard and Johnny's yeah, band, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Dealer Soul, it's, like it's mad kind yeah. of, uh, mad build really. That would have been sub sub days as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, around then, yeah. Special yeah. memories, yeah. special yeah. memories. Yeah. Can you give us a little bit of an idea of the pre-gig ritual then? I heard a bit of, sort of tropical music coming out of the dressing room. You didn't hear the Chas and Dave, did you? <laughs> no, no. Somebody put Chas on Dave on. <laughs> You're joking, seriously. I'm serious. I think it was Jimmy when we first got in there. What, uh... what is the ritual then? What do you do to get yourselves ready for the show? Um, just, um, I haven't really got a ritual, but just try and, you know, I don't, yeah, maybe play a bit of music, um, just pace around a bit, yeah. so, you know, tell yourself it's going to be okay, and <laughs> hopefully. And, Some pad uh, yeah. for the hands, but thumping yeah, away with the do a little bit of the, uh, that nonsense, but not too much, you know. Yeah. So the last time we had, um, we had Jez on. Right. It was just when it had got back together, and he described Doves as the three-headed beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said it was so funny because it was like this um, really sensible coffee. It was the moment you reunited. You know, you're Is having it? this sophisticated, sensible, sit-down, cup of coffee, midlife sort of conversation, and you all give each other a nod about getting back together. Right. It's about seven months on from that. Yeah, How yeah. has that period been, getting it's back really, into the Doves groove? Really good, really good. Uh, yeah. well, the most fun bit, really, has been in the rehearsal room, just... Uh, uh, I suppose you go for that amount of time with three of us or four of us really, Martin, live. Uh, um, there's a lot of shared experience, so, you know, an absolute, yeah, just you know, a lot of good and bad things have happened over that time and, uh, you know, just things that we've just experienced together really. So it has been really nice to just, uh, you know, remembering, you know, just stuff. Did it come back? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, just you forget about it and somebody mentions it and. But yeah, that's been really good, and um, um, yeah, it's you know it's been a long com time coming, really. Uh, you know, we didn't expect it to be, you know, eight years. Yeah. Really didn't. Just for, went in the blink of an eye. Just yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, um, you know, all had kids and the usual kind of stuff, really. And uh, um, so we did. Yeah, it, it should have been. It shouldn't have been eight years, really. Jess had a great thing. He said um, when you first got together, it was like a fifth form band rehearsing. <laughs> so we're aiming to get sort of sixth form band by the yeah. time we go in. But we're what not level there yet. yet. <laughs> not there yet. Where are Still you working moment? on it. Yeah. Oof, yeah, it sounded a bit, uh, yeah, and the last day's rehearsal was a bit hit and miss, really. <laughs> but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, it's weird, yeah, sort of core bits you remember, but it's all the, the other bits is just, you know, it only takes one of you to forget it, and then it's like, it just stops out. Oh, fucking heck, don't you remember that? You played it, you know. Yeah. So, Can you uh, articulate those emotions of when you're back on stage together at Albert Hall, for instance? Yeah, that was it must amazing. be really a magical yeah, feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> no, I mean it's been you know dead hard moment for us. It kind of you don't know really. Like eight times is a long time, isn't it? In the music, uh, yeah, music biz, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just, you know, um, so many good bands come along and the rest of it. Uh, so you know for. People are kind of stuck with the band. I'm still passionate about the band. Was was 
yeah, kind of surprising to us and uh, yeah, they're, they're heartwarming. What's it like looking at the crowd as well? Because you've got this, yeah, people have been yeah. there since 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then a younger crowd I'd imagine as well. You know, yeah, people yeah, yeah, could yeah. probably even bring their kids on. Yeah, 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 that's no, pretty, the demographic's pretty wide. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, brilliant, just, you know, I mean, we did a warm up at Warrington for, for the Royal Out of the yeah. Hall because we thought, you know, it's more going cold to that place because it's quite, on stage, quite intimidating. Yeah. Especially if not gig for four or five years, you know. Uh, so we did uh, Warrington Power Hall and uh, that was that was pretty mental as well. You it's know, a special and, venue as well. Yeah. It was a history there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And people, you know, like travelling from the States and New Zealand and Mexico, I'm like, Jesus, you know. Just, yeah, just... Yeah, Pressure's on. on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, really good, really good, good vibe. I'm really enjoying playing live. Great to hear that. Yeah, yeah. it looks like there's a smile on all your faces when you see you all together. Yeah, it's a great thing. When we got um, when we got Jez on last time, I was trying to give him a little Chinese burn, see if he'd tell us about new music. And since then, it's been a little bit of our <laughs> rumble. Leak, it? Yeah, there's been a rumble since then. So. A leak by us. <laughs> well, I hear this. I heard ten songs, something like that, that could be ready um, to go soon. Well, um, there's certainly I think there's seven or eight we can agree on. Right. Uh, we did have 10 and then a couple of the songs were like, mm, maybe it's like, you know. So it's a little bit more writing to do, I think. But no, I think the book is exciting, it, though, you know? isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Could you, no, can I really put pressure on you? What was the time frame then? Can we get excited uh, for the end of the year? Uh, uh, doubtful. <laughs> uh, knowing, you know, we're like, yeah, yeah. Bloody, take your time. Like bloody snails when it comes to <laughs> producing music. But uh, no, n next year, definitely. Yeah. I hope. No. Are you a big football fan, just quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're a yeah. City man, aren't right? you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I know I'm, uh, Jesus as well. What an amazing bloody year for City, yeah? Uh, incredible. Did you incredible. get a chance to go and enjoy any of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I went to, to the last uh, home game, which yeah. was... Uh, fucking hell. I'm terrible, my memory was that. Sorry, you know, where yeah, Vincent yeah. Company scored that incredible goal. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you knew the bad years as a City fan. You were of the generation to remember when it was miserable. So yes. it must be magical. Yeah, so yeah, when we were in the... Yeah, when we're in this, the old second division, and yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a really good time to be growing up as a City fan. Yeah. It's, you know, these kids, it's like, you don't know what pain You don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> uh, you yeah, don't yeah. know how lucky you are. But, but no, it's a great vibe there, and, you know, what Pep's brought to, you know, the style of management. It's just so, such a positive guy, and, you know, it's, yeah. It's, it's been brilliant. Never been a better time to be a City fan. No, no, we're going to be the most hated people yeah. now. We are the New United. That's quite you City know. though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 laugh yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, I've got to ask you some, some daft questions. Right? If you were DJing at the Indy Disco, what's your opener and what's your closer? Okay, uh, what would be my opener? Okay. Um, you can take this as seriously as you like, or just be daft. Entirely up to you. Uh, I'm just trying to last time, DJ. Uh, I quite like to open the Stooges uh, yeah. down on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sets a tone. Uh, last song. Now this is interesting because do you go for the sort of Frank Sinatra "My Way," send everyone off high kicking, or do you just play the encore <laughs> song? Uh, I do. I go for um, Minnie Ripperton. Oh, oh yeah. wow! Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Like that. It finish. might clear the floor, but yeah. you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at that, clearing the floor. <laughs> it's the right time to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, another quick question. If you hadn't been dubs, what would you have been called? Were there any runners and riders? There was, yeah, there was a couple of the names right. kicking around. That, uh, I think we had, from what I remember, um, uh, The Dozens was a band. What's the name, name We always liked Swans, and it's a different kind of bird, yeah. but obviously it's a, a band who had that yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Nuggets. Really? No. I was going to say, really? <laughs> That's <laughs> not a good idea. Each other. All right, yeah, yeah. Bloody total nugget. nugget. Yeah, 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 total yeah, nugget. Yeah, yeah. It's good to we'll add that to the list. Yeah. And one last thing then, um, I'd, I'd like to ask you for some words of wisdom. Inhaler on the bill tonight, new band yes. coming through, bright right. future ahead of them. You've got 30 years in the game, right? What, what one piece of advice would you give them to keep them right? I'm not sure if I'm, you know, my advice counts for anything really because I, we're a textbook and not, not how to do it, you right. know, drop well, them out of it for eight years, yeah, and, yeah. you know. Well, what shouldn't they do? Maybe that's the other way to ask What that. shouldn't they do? Um, it's a bit of a cliche, to just stick to, stick to what feels good and don't let people talk you into stuff which maybe you don't feel right. Yeah, um, yeah just try and, it's quite easy to get. You know, sidetracked really. Yeah. You know, I think we were quite privileged with Doves because really we went through the whole sub sub thing as you yeah, mentioned yeah. earlier, uh, which was a big learning Learn curve for stuff. Yeah. You know, because we put out records, you know, we had that kind of 
Ain't No Love, which took us all by surprise. Yeah. You know, thank God that song happened because we're probably stacking shells now. It's a springboard, man. But after that, we panicked a bit and it was like, we can put out a track we didn't really believe in. And um, uh, so, you know, we had the privilege of that really. So when we started with Doves, it was like, right, let's, you know, let's you know, do a record. You know, spend time on it, get exactly how we want it. Don't, you know, no, don't think of commercial kind of aspects of it. Just try and get it as a, uh, you know, as a work which stands stands together. So, you know. get the music right, yeah. I suppose, is the message, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest will follow. Yeah, but as for advice, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm not the man. <laughs> not the man for it. You know. Okay, that you know, yeah, yeah. Andy, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having man. us at Heaton Park. It'd be great yeah. to see Tubbs play their first ever gig at Heaton Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check on there. Maybe you're right. I'll check. I, I was definitely. Yeah. My memory, you could very well be right. I'm pretty sure. I think between it, both you know. of us, uh, yeah, we've got a little yeah. bit of dementia there. I can't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, nice, Andy. Thanks yeah. so much. Best of luck. Yeah, nice one, man. Good to see you. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Radio X.